Hello, Mayra. Hi, Nelly. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. How are you? Uh, thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What topic do you remember? What um, subject do you remember? Do you remember any vocabulary or any phrases from yesterday's class? The customer car. That's right. Reasons why the customer calls, right? Can you tell me what are some reasons customers call? What are some reasons that you remember why customers call? Who can remember some of the reasons? Can you give me an example? A customer card to product information. That's right. What else? Uh -huh. A customer card to know the address. Very good. Yes. Customer card to know sure. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Sure. Es sure. Schedule. 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 That's right. The schedule. That would be the work schedule. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Alguien más que se acuerde lo que vimos ayer? Somebody else that can remember the class from yesterday? We were looking at the activities that the company does and the activities that the uh, customer does, right? For example, pick up the phone, customer or customer representative? Repeat. Uh, pick up the phone, who does the activity? Customer or company representative? Customer and customer. company. Both, that's right. Both. Understand, yeah. understand? A company. Company. Explain. Explain. Company. Company representative. Okay. Uh, complain. Customer. Customer. Uh, help. Customer. 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 Request information. Customer. 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 Uh, get prices. Company. Company. Mm. No. No. Customer. Customers get prices. Uh, pro provide one's information. Customer. Assist. Company. Buy. Company. Company. Customer. Customer. Call. Company. Customer and company. Customer and company and receive. Yeah. Com company and customer. Both, that's right. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the next one, which is the past tense of be and the simple past. Uh, repeat, please. It was a great experience. It was a great experience. 
the agent was very helpful. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. You were on our page. We were excited about service. We were excited about service. Okay, aquí le faltó the service. Aquí va un the. About the service. The service. Uh -huh. So I want you to notice that I'm going to use was when I'm referring to the singular. I was, he was, she was, it was, right? But if I'm expressing you, I say you were, or in the plural, they were, or in the plural, we were, okay? So, when it is singular, uh, for example, I, you say I was. But if you're looking at the third person singular, he, she, it, in this case, we use the be verb was. And if I'm talking about you, I say you were, they were, we were. For example, I was a student. Yo era un alumno. I was a student. Okay? Uh, I was sick. I was sick. Me sentía enfermo o estaba enfermo. I was happy. Estaba contento. O I was sad. Estaba triste. O tenía hambre. I was hungry. Right? So you can use it uh, to express the profession or your state. If you're sick, if you're happy, your mood. If you're excited, if you feel motivated, you can use the be verb, was. Uh, and the same with he was, she was, and it was. For example, he was a taxi driver. Él era un taxi driver. Uh, she was... She was hungry. Ella tenía hambre. Hungry. Uh, it was. It was a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Right? Fue un día bello. It was a beautiful day. <clears throat> Any questions referring to the examples? Questions? No question. Okay. Now, in the case of you were, you were, uh, let's say, for example, you were at home. Tu estabas en casa. Uh, they were... Uh, they were tired. Ellos estaban cansados. They were tired. Uh, we were we were sleepy. Ellos tenían sueño. Nosotros estábamos con sueño. We were sleepy. Repeat after me. I was a student. I was a student. I was 
sick. I was, I was sick. I was happy. I was, I was happy. happy. I was sad. I was, I was sad. I was hungry. I was, I was hungry. hungry. He was a taxi driver. He was, he was, a, was a taxi driver. driver. It was a beautiful day. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. day. You were at home. You were, you were at home. home. They were tired. They, they were tired. tired. We were sleepy. We were, we were sleepy. sleepy. We were sleepy. Okay, I want everybody, please copy mm -hmm. the examples in your notebooks. Please copy the examples in your notebooks at this moment. What we are going to do is we're going to look at the other examples right here. Simple past. Now for the simple past, I want you to analyze and I want you to look at the examples. Repeat, please. I gave my account information. I gave, I gave my account information. information. He called yesterday at night. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. They bought the product last week. So I want, I want you to notice that some of the verbs have the ed, ed at the end, but some of the verbs don't. For example, bought. What is the simple present of bought? Buy. 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 Right. So buy simple present. Bought simple past. But here you have the verb call, simple present, and then you have the simple past called. So you say, Mr. Santos, what is the difference between the verb buy and the verb call? Big difference. For example, buy, bought, this is what we call a, this is what we call an Irregular verb. But the other one called with the double line, this is what we call a regular verb, right? Because the irregular changes the spelling of the word, but the regular verb doesn't change. You only add ed to the verb in the simple past. Okay? Now, if I say, for example, to you, um, I gave, I gave my son 
twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, he called his mother yesterday, for example. Uh, the program worked. You could say the program worked all night. Okay, the next one, they bought, they bought a turkey for Thanksgiving. They bought a turkey for Thanksgiving. Please copy the examples in your notebook. Please copy the examples in your notebook. Repeat, please. I gave my son $20. I, I gave my son $20. He called his mother yesterday. He called, he called, he called his, his mother, mother yesterday. yesterday. The program worked all night. They bought a turkey for Thanksgiving. They, they bought, bought a turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay. Any questions referring to this vocabulary? Okay. Any questions? Hi. Uh, on the set, pardon, take, take in, lo último. Thanksgiving. 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 Uh -huh. Thanksgiving is Dia del Pavo, Dia de Gracia. Okay. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to work in pairs. And I would like for you to look at the examples, write the sentences with the words provided using the past of B or simple past. So you're going to complete the sentence in the simple past, the B verb of the simple past or the main verb of the simple past. You will have five minutes to work in pairs, five minutes to work in pairs, and then we're going to check with the whole class. Ready? Let's go. Past. What's where? Teacher. What's going on? Mm. Hello, Jesenia. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Mauricio. Hey, hey, hello, teacher. Los tres estamos ahorita así casi llegando al cielo. 
<laughs> wow, <okay. laughs> no, no, no. Right now, what you're doing is uh, we're looking at this section over here. This is coming from page number 30. And you are going to write the sentence in the simple past, right? With the be verb in the simple past or the verb in the simple past. That's right. Okay. Exercise number five. That would be page number 30. 30. Page number, Page number 30. Page number 30. Okay, thank you, DJ. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Okay, la segunda sería... I bought... The, the item... Compré el artículo en diciembre. Ah. Sería en este caso. Espérame. Este, um, bow, bow, bow. Bug. Sería you bow. Espérame que se me, se me fue una letra de más. Sería you bought the you item bought, December. You bought the, the, item, the items December. Compraste el artículo en diciembre. Sería I. No sería you. ¿Eh? You bought, ¿verdad? No vamos a ocupar el, el I. No, vamos a ocupar el bow. B o. Pero, sería you al principio, ¿verdad? Sí, pues sí. You, you bow. The item. The item. La tercera sería... Ella preparó las políticas. Ella sería she ready the policies. Solo le vas a agregar la, la Y. La y, la y. A. She ready the, the policies. ¿Ah? La número cuatro sería el, sub, ellos, el supervisor. Eh, no sé qué significa games. Dio, de dar. Espérame. De supervisor. Dio, ajá, dio. La supervisora me dio un descuento. Sería en este caso having. Giving. 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 Um, pero no. Ajá, sería, pero no sé si es. Sería giving, ajá. Giving mi disco. Sería the supervisor giving me a disco. Giving. 
G I V, ¿verdad? Sí. Déjame ver cómo salí. Ahí está. De Supervisor. Giving my a dis, das, discount. Giving me a discount. En la número 5. Pero me voy a poner. Ah. El número 5 creo que sería. Sending. Day Sending. Sandy con Y al final, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. The contract my email. Sending sería con ING al final. Hola. Back in action. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Number one. Okay, Mauricio. Number one, Mauricio. Okay. Nosotros consideramos que es. Ah, se me bloqueó. Voy a intentar ver acá. I be interested product. Sí, sería I be Se me bloqueó esto. No me responde. Te ayudo, te ayudo Mauricio. Okay, so would be sí, I Por favor, me quedo me quedo con la me quedo con la 2 porque no me carga aquí esto. Okay, uh, somebody else, number one, Marvin. Eh Number one. I was interested in that product. I was interested in that product. Very good. Thank you. Number two, Yesenia, number two. Okay, so yeah, you were by the item in December. Very good. You bought. It's not necessary were. You only use you bought. B-O-U-G-H-T. You bought. Repeat. Okay. Item. 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 In December. December. Okay. Thank you, Yesenia. Excellent. And number three, number three, who wants to do number three? Okay, Mauricio, number three? No. No? Uh, okay. She, she will read the policies. Ah, okay. She read the policies. She read the policies. It's not necessary. Okay, guys, eh, creo que estamos confundiendo el verbo to be eh, con el verbo principal. Quiero que noten que si vas a usar el verbo to be, por ejemplo acá, was, no hay otro verbo. Este es el verbo. I was interested yo estaba interesado. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Estaba. Was. Right. El verbo de ser o estar. So, yo no puedo usar el verbo was y el verbo read en pasado. 
Ok, esa estructura no existe. Por ejemplo, aquí, yo no te puedo decir, she was read. Ahí estoy diciendo, ella era leer. She was read the policies, right? That's impossible, guys. You cannot say that. No puedes usar el was con el read o cualquier otro verbo en el past. Ok. All right. O es uno o es el otro. Como podemos ver acá, todos estos son simple past del verbo to be. Was, was, were, were. Pero no existe otro verbo en la oración. Right. It was a great experience. Fue una gran experiencia. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Fue. The agent was very helpful. El agente fue muy útil. Fue. Was el verbo. Here, I gave. Yo le di. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Where? ¿Quién dijo where? Gave. <laughs> no, it's gave. That's right. Gave. Ok, alguien no está entendiendo por acá. Necesito que pongan atención, guys. Vamos a usar el was con los verbos. No. No. O, o es el verbo. Gave, called, worked, bought, slept, exercised, ate, etc. O es el verbo to be, was or were, but not together. O es uno o es el otro. Do you understand? Yeah. Not together. Okay. So, ¿por dónde vamos? Number... She read the policies. Okay. Híjole, por ahí se escucha el ruido. Uh, let me have number four. Volunteer. One volunteer for number four. Volunteer for number four. Mayra, number four. Hello, teacher. The supervisor. The super, super design. Super design. Supervisor. Supervisor. Uh -huh. Gave me a discount. The supervisor gave me a discount. Excellent. Perfect. Good, Myra. Number five. Number five. Carla, Beatriz, number five. They sent the contract to my email. Perfect. That is correct. Carla, they sent my, oh, no, perdón. They sent the contract. The contract. They sent the contract. To my email. To my email. Ding, ding, ding. Good, Carlita. Number six. Let me have another person for number six. Number six, number six. Another volunteer. He was. Arturo, number six. He was. Disappointed. Very good. He was disappointed. Perfect. He was disappointed. Very good. Okay. I would like for everybody, please repeat after me. I was. I was. I was interested in that product. Interested in that product. 
you bought you bought the, the item in December. The she read the policies. The supervisor gave me a discount. They sent the contract to my email. He was disappointed. He was very good. Now, at this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, related to this vocabulary or this topic right here? Do you have any questions referring to that? Give me a picture. Yes. Only one question. And the number yes. four, where is the verb? Gave. <laughs> ya está hecho. Gave. The simple present is give. Simple give. past is gave. Okay. Yo creo que fue error de dedo de ellos ahí porque ya se la hicieron. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question? Marvin? Marvin? Mm, sí. Eh, eh, hay algunos verbos irregulares que no personal me confunden porque se escriben exactamente igual en pasado. That is correct. Regulares. That is correct. For example... Y, Okay. Let me let me give you an example. What is the simple read. present? Read. Read. And past participle read or cut. 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 Simple past. Simple. Simple past. Beat. Past participle. Meet. And that would be bite. Yeah. Uh, bite. Bite. Bit. Hit. Oh, you said no, hit. Golpear. Uh, hit. 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 Uh -huh. Hit. E hit. That's right. That is correct. You got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. All right. Another question from this information. Elmer, Roxana, no teacher. Daniel, question. Mayra, question. Arturo, question. Teacher, sí, teacher. En yes. el caso de la de la número cinco, mm -hmm. solo le cambia la 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 t por la d. That is correct. Simple present send. Simple past sent. Past participle sent. The sent. same one. Sent. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward. And it's your turn. Imagine you call an old customer to know about his or her satisfaction about a product or service they got. Le vas a llamar a un cliente, vas a hacer como que si le vas a llamar a un cliente, un cliente viejo, y le vas a como preguntar si tú piensas o tú le quieres saber cómo está de satisfecho ese cliente con el producto o el servicio que se le brindó. Un alumno va a ser el customer service y el otro alumno va a ser el customer. For example, for example. This is Michael Hello. King. How can I help you? <laughs> uh, yes. What, what do you want? Uh, yes, I'm calling because I want to know your satisfaction in the product that we installed last week in your house with the Tigo internet. Are you very satisfied? Satisfied, not 
satisfied um satisfied okay and what about the quality of the customer service provided by the technicians are you satisfied not so satisfied or very satisfied uh, satisfied right you're going to be like asking questions about how the customer feels do you understand let me have a volunteer one volunteer one volunteer okay marvin so marvin eh, <laughs> Marvin, I want you to imagine that you had internet okay. connection in your house, and I represent Tigo. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Contest it, Marvin. Hi. Hello, Marvin Antonio Lara. Yes, tell me. Hi, Marvin. This is Michael King calling you from uh, Tigo Internet Services. And we would like to ask you some questions to see how is your satisfaction with the product or service that you got. Okay. Yes. Um, were the people that installed your internet nice? Yes. Uh, did they give you quality service mm, well they were polite and they do their work okay. and are you satisfied with the service yes i'm satisfied okay thank you marvin this will conclude our call thank you for preferring tigo internet you have a nice day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Do you understand, guys? Right. It doesn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be Tigo. This is only my example. Obviously, you can ask about uh, maybe Pollo Campero or Wendy's or Pizza Hut. Um, any service, internet service. Um, a new cell phone service, uh, whatever, whatever. Just basically uh, one student is the call center asking for the satisfaction of the client. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay, you will have 10 minutes to prepare. 10 minutes to prepare. Carlos, <laughs> yes. 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my God, piensa que, es, piensa que somos Superman. <laughs> no, tal vez le doy 15 minutos, bye. <laughs> Hello. Okay. You got to go to the private session. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Francisco va entrando. Qué raro, qué raro. Daniel, Francisco y Marvin y Mauricio no entraron. No, no me salió para entrar. Ah, sí, los tres están fuera. Sí, ingresé nuevamente, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver, Marvin, lo vamos a poner en el 4 con Mayra. Ahí está. Y Francisco que trabaje con Daniel. Ok, Francisco y Daniel, working pairs. Bueno, vamos a ver, si empezamos, vamos a decir hello, ¿verdad? Podemos decir. Uh -huh. Hello, Miss Carla. Hello, Miss, Miss, Miss Carla. <laughs> Carla. Este. How are you, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. How are you? Vale, ¿cómo te sentís? I, I... 
crean. I'm fine. <laughs> no, pero tiene que decir, how are you? I'm cold. Ajá. I'm, que está hablando bueno, de, sí, I'm hello. cold. Ah, hello, Miss Carla. My name is, no sé, yes. ¿no? Jessie Aguilar. <laughs> I call him, him, ¿verdad? Him, uh -huh. From Papa Jones. Yes. How are you? Yes. I'm cold. I call. I call him from Papa Jones. Pero es que no sé cómo decir. Le llamo. I'm, sí, así es verdad. Call, call. Him. Sí, I'm call. Or oh, I'm calling. I, es que es call, call. Es a calling. Call it. Así call it. Co calling. Uh -huh. okay. Que le estoy, le estoy llamando. Calling. Huh? I'm calling. Mm -hmm. From. I'm calling. From. Papa Jones. From Papa Jones. How are you? Uh -huh. Sí. Oh, no, hello. <laughs> um, hi, Jesse. Uh -huh. I'm fine. Sí. Bueno, le ponemos el customer service. Quiero ver. Ay, de ahí te, te pregunto porque le hizo como seis preguntas. Ay, qué ¿Ah? ¿Verdad? Excelente, ajá, excelente. Um, vamos a poner excelente. Bueno, les, pero voy a poner en otra. Le estoy llamando para saber. ¿Qué le parece nuestro servicio en Papa Jones? <risa> nuestro servicio en Papa Jones. And out of Creo que les falta algo aquí. Vale, dice. Hola. No sé bien. Buenas tardes, Mauricio Torres le saluda. Puedo hablar con Yesenia. Ella habla como le ayuda. Uh -huh. Ahí le podemos poner, ¿Puedo? quería real, puedo realizarle una sí. pequeña encuesta. Sí. No le llamo, sino que sería, ah, sí, hay que no. no. Le llamo al restaurante Lisote y queremos saber su opinión, dijo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Sí. No. Y queremos saber su opinión sobre nuestro opinión? servicio. No. ¿Qué tan satisfecho o no satisfecho está con nuestro, con nuestro servicio? Ajá, servicio. Para ello le haré tres preguntas. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? No, es que no serían preguntas, sino que...
Para ello le diré tres aspectos. Luego dice el seno. De acuerdo. You had had a problem with the internet service. Así, ¿verdad? Pero le está preguntando o le está diciendo. Preguntando. Ah, y sería, have you had? Así have ve. You. Have you Has. had any internet problems? Have you had any internet problems? Esa es la pregunta. Oops, le puse símbolo de... Sería símbolo de pregunta. Have you had any internet problems? Okay. Has had a problem. Okay. Eh, ¿Ahí qué vas a contestar? Mm, le puedo poner por el momento, ¿no? Ajá. Está bien así. Sí. Por el momento. ¿Cómo se dice por el momento no? Sería at, at the moment no. Not at the moment. 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 Bueno, la otra pregunta. Regarding, okay. con respecto al servicio de entrega, are you satisfied? ¿Qué más el otro? Don Saris? No. Satisfied, no. Yes, very satisfied, satisfied, or unsatisfied? Mm -hmm. Satisfied, 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 unsatisfied, unsatisfied, or very satisfied. All right, so you can say satisfied, unsatisfied, or very satisfied. Unsatisfied es insatisfecho, ¿verdad? That's right. Very satisfied. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya lo tenés? Sí. ¿Cuál es el número de WhatsApp tuyo? Porque no, tengo, no te tengo en el teléfono este. ¿Regálame el número? 7859. ¿Sí? 8086. Ahorita te lo mando. Ahí te lo mandé en el WhatsApp. Ok, ya creo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Tú y yo? ¿About? ¿The sky? ¿Cable? ¿Company? Uh, to hands us validat the service 
that was probably in the inst installation that restaurant and we saw that y empieza toda la historia okay. voy a ver si puedo copiar yes. solo falta okay. usted, está, usted está trabajando en computadora o en el teléfono en el teléfono bueno, voy a, uh, se lo voy a enviar a whatsapp Bye. Para que lo copie, pero quiero pegarlo al Word. Satisfactorio. Muy, muy, muy satisfecho. Quiero satisfecho. Ok. Very satisfecho. Satisfacción. Muy satisfecho. Con su. Very satisfecho. Satisfacción. Con atención. Satisfacción. She was. Satisfacción. Sí, pero aquí sería, she was very satisfied. Así, she was very satisfied. She was very no, no. satisfied. Ajá, porque satisfied es el adjective. Very Satisfaction very es el nombre. Ok, satisfied. Así. She was very satisfied. Satisfied. No. Ahí se lo mandé en el grupo del Zoom. She was sí. very satisfied. Satisfied con F-I-E-D. F-I-E-D. F-I-D-E. Satisfied. Yes. Mm -mm. Falta la I. Bien. <laughs> yes. Después de la F, F. <laughs> Ahí está. Satisfied. That's good. Pero es que ella dice, me puede ayudar con tres preguntas. Okay, vaya, donde dice vaya, good night, Miss Roxana. Yes, Leslie. Entonces te digo. Eh, verdadera llamada por motivo de. Por motivo de control de calidad, mi llamada está siendo grabada. Ah, solamente eso. Pero ahí vea usted si lo ponemos, porque sería. Hola. Porque tendríamos que modificar. Ajá, por, por el problema que le preguntas con tres preguntas. No, si quiero así, así dejemos. Así dejemos. Si recomienda el servicio, como última pregunta. ¿Cómo? Do you recommend? Do you recommend the service? All right, guys, it's already nine o'clock, so we're going to take the attendance. Arturo Antonio, absent or present? Present, teacher. All right. It's the 11th, 11th, okay. 
Yesenia Beatriz, absent or present? Yesenia Beatriz, present. Estaba presente, va. Sí, estaba conmigo. Ok. Eh, Jesse Elizabeth. Present. Present. Jesse Elizabeth is present. Okay. Nelly Elena. Present. Is present. Carla Yesenia Estrada. Present. Carla Yesenia Estrada. Carla Yesenia Estrada. Is absent. Okay, she's absent. Okay. Yeah, she's absent. Okay. The next one. Carla Beatriz. Present. Is present. Eh, René Alexander Nieto. René Alexander Nieto. Roxana Valladares. Sorry, present teacher. Present. Daniel Armando. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay. Francisco Edgardo. Present, teacher. All right. Elmer Neftali. Present, teacher. Present. Eric Guillermo. Luis Jose. Luis Jose. Mayra Lisette. Presente. Mauricio Efraín. Presente. All right. I like that. Presente. <laughs> Marvin Antonio. Present. All right. Oops. Este Marvin. Y este yo creo que no está. Carlos Antonio dropped out, right? Wow. Tanta gente que empezó y tan poquitos que hemos quedado. It's no good. Bad business. Guys, procuren no faltar. Todas estas personas que tienen más de tres ausencias ya no pueden continuar. Así que it's no good. No good. Y si en el futuro ellos quieren volverse a inscribir, they're going to be like, no. ¿Hasta cuándo llega el curso, teacher? Eh, ahorita vamos por la tercera semana, falta una semana más. Ah, ok. Sí, pero lo, lo malo es que cuando la gente hace eso, y digamos que después ellos quieren inscribirse, ya no los dejan. Ah, de veras. That's the problem. Porque ya Insaforp ya tiene como que la ficha de la persona y dice, nah, esta persona no cumple. So it's no good. Okay, is everybody finished or do you need more time? ¿Ya terminaron or you need more time? Ay. More time? Ay. Okay, five more minutes. Five more minutes. Not yet, teacher. We need more time. Okay, five more minutes. Please. Five more minutes. Okay, thanks.
Eh, Francisco. Hola, eh, ¿usted recomendaría el servicio? Es la última, antepenúltima, ¿verdad? La última Daniel. parte ahorita. ¿Perdón? Sería, ¿do you recommend the service? Sí, ahí le dice el cliente que sí. Yes, I recommend the company for this service. Pues sería la última parte. ¿Qué dice la última parte? Acá, en esto, acá. Ajá. Dice, ok. Gracias por su tiempo. Que tenga un buen día. Adiós. Hasta ahí sería. ¿va? Sí, sería todo. Quiere ser el, el cliente o. Perdón. Quiere ser el cliente o el de servicio del cliente, usted. Quiero ver. Hola, quien hola, quien habla eh, es el usuario. Bajelo, mi nombre es Daniel, Daniel es el, 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 el cliente, ¿va? El de el servicio del cliente. Ajá, el de, no, eh, el, la primera es el cliente y el segundo es. El de la empresa, el trabajador. Luis. Ok, Sir Arturo, we are glad to know that you are happy for our, for our, for our service. Thanks for your time. Ok, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. <coughs> Hello, good morning. I have the pleasure with Arturo Monroy. Yes, we we'll speak to you. We talk uh, to you about the Sky Cable Company. You to help you validate the service that was provided provided in the selection that we did at your home at, at your home. Excellent, very good. Not I can see the class. How will you rate our television slot? Very good. I only watch soccer and action movies. Okay, Sir Arturo, uh, we are glad to know that you are happy for our service. Thanks for your time. Bye. Okay, bye bye. La segunda, el, el, el tercer párrafo, como es bastante grande, men. De, 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 Ajá, hay una, hay una, parte, hay una so, parte que. Tenía. Ok, sir, Arturo, we are glad to. Vos, vos, ah, vos. Ajá, we parte? told to you about the. No, 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 Ya me empecé. Que lo hice rápido. Bien rápido lo hice. Are you guys finished? Yes. Solo estamos practicando t-shirt. Ok. Hay algunas, algunas palabras, por ejemplo. Uh, I, I called you from restaurant Elizote. 
Mm -hmm. And we want to know that you are so satisfied or not satisfied with our service. Mm -hmm. For that, I will give you three aspects. Mm -hmm. No sé si así es la pronunciación. Aspects. 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 Uh -huh. Pero uh, we, we want to know that you are so satisfied. No, no. We want to know if you are satisfied. That, no. No. If. Uh, if. If you are satisfied. If. Um, uh -huh. I F. We, I, I F. We want to know if you are satisfied. If okay. We want to know. We want to know if you are so satisfied or not satisfied with our service. That's right. For that, I will give you three aspects. Mm -hmm. Ella dice, I'm angry. I'm angry. Err. Angry. I'm angry. Angry. Err. Mm. I am angry. Angry is enojada. And uh, no. <laughs> I, I, he, R, E, E. I, E. I, he, uh -huh. R, E, E. Angry. Ah, uh, hungry, con hambre. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> eh, um, lo que quisimos decir fue... Eh, como decir de acuerdo. Ah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree. Uh -huh. I agree. Uh -huh. Es que esa, ahí es detenía yo la... Es que me tiraba and. Sería I agree. I agree. Ajá, porque le digo que le llamo de restaurante Lisote, que necesito saber si está satisfecha con tres aspectos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces ella dice, estoy de acuerdo. I agree. I, I agree. Why, why their service? Satisfied. Environment of the restaurant? Satisfied. Or menu? Satisfied. Uh -huh. Y luego viene ya lo último. We thank you for your time. On your next visit, you will receive a special discount. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Francisco, who's your partner? Okay, teacher. Okay, Francisco. Daniel. Francisco and Daniel. Okay, ready, action. Daniel. Hi. Who is? Hello, my name is Francisco. Nam I, or name? Nam. Name. For name. Uh -huh. is Francisco. The, pronunci Har the pronunciation is name. 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 No. Name. name. My name is Francisco. I am talking for Claro. 
I am I am talking for Claro or I. Okay, in este caso sería I am calling. Am I? Estás preguntando, ¿verdad? Am I calling Claro? Am I? I calling Claro. Calling Claro. No, am I? Es que si decís I am, no es pregunta. Calling from. Aquí sería así. Así. Am. Yes, I the... Calling. Claro. Right? Am I calling Claro? Porque si yo te digo I am, I am calling Claro. En este caso no es pregunta. En este caso te estoy diciendo, estoy llamando is, a Claro. Is the, is the customer service. Okay. Oh, so he's telling you, te estamos llamando de Claro. Yes, ah, okay, so the, we are calling from Claro. It says, hi, we are calling from Claro. We're adding. Mm -hmm. We are calling from Claro. From Claro. We are calling from Claro. We are calling to Claro. No, no, no. Te estás diciendo, te estamos llamando de Claro. So ahí sería, we are calling from Claro. All right, te llamamos de Pollo Campero. We are calling from Pollo Campero. Te llamamos de Abank. We are calling from Abank. So in this case, the preposition is from, not to. Continue. Daniel, Francisco, you finish? Okay, okay. hi Francisco. No teacher. Okay, Francisco, okay. what do you need? We are doing a survey about how service products how successful are you with the service? Um, I think the service is good. Did you have any fall in last two months? Yes, I have faults in three times. The technical support for the job in fault. Yes, I had a quick response. Did you recommend to serve it? Oh, yeah. I recommend the company for this service. Your project is how I did die. Bye. Okay, bye, Francisco. Okay. That's good, that's good. Uh, only one observation right here. The pronunciation of the word satisfied. 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 That's right. Okay, thank you, uh, Daniel and Francisco. Just remember, right, that if you say to y from, right, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Si yo te digo, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, I am calling to. Ahí estás diciendo, estoy llamando a. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, estoy llamando a Wendy's. I am calling to Wendy's. 
o querés decir es, estoy llamando a let's say for example guys I am calling to guys right pero si tú vas a decir te estoy llamando de oops a él me le están cayendo todos los mensajes míos. Yo pensé que a todos les estaban cayendo, solo a Elmer. Elmer, ay, qué chivo, a mí me mandan mensajes. A veces. Ay, preferencia, preferencia. Ah, cabal. Pero estoy viendo que solo a él se los estoy mandando. Pero... Personalizado. Ok, va. Everyone, ok. Eso That's not good, teacher. I know, brother. Uh. Okay, I am calling to Wendy's. I am calling to Caes, right? Ahí está diciendo, estoy llamando a Wendy's. Estoy llamando a Caes. Pero si vos vas a decir from, I am calling from, ahí ya es diferente, from, from. Wendy's. Wendy's. I am calling from Wendy's. Te llamo de Wendy's. Eh, I am calling from Caes. Caes. Te llamo de Caes. Right. So no es lo mismo el from con el to. En este caso. Me imagino que usted quiere decir de. Eh, claro, porque como uno dice, ¿verdad? To... Eh, to Maria eh, from eh, Peter, for example, right? Por eso me imagino que usted pensó que era tú, como dicen, de Maria para Pedro, right? Pero ya este ya es otra, otro contexto, otra composition. Do you understand? Este hecho. Ok. Me imagino que por allí iba la cosa. Eh, okay. le, yes. Let me have Arturo. Who's your partner, Arturo? Ok, Arturo. Who's your partner? Elmer. Ok. So, we got Arturo and Elmer. And action. Hello, good morning. I have the pleasure white Arturo Monroy. Yes, we we'll speak to you. We talk to you about the Sky Cable Company to help you validate the service that was provided in the installation that we did at your home. Excellent, very good. Not I can see the classic Barcelona versus Real Madrid. How good you rate our television slot? Very good. I only watch soccer and action movies. Okay, sir Arturo, we are glad to know that you are happy for our service. Thanks for your time. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Just a couple of observations on this one. Uh, when you had, when you said, I have the pleasure with, right? Pero le estás preguntando o le estás diciendo? I have. Uh -huh. No, lo estoy diciendo. Le está diciendo, pero ¿cómo sabe que es él? Le tiene que preguntar, ¿va? Por ejemplo, tú llamas, decís, ¿tengo el gusto con Elmer? ¿Tengo el Por gusto eso, con I Carla? The, the pleasure. Ajá, no, Ahora, en este caso está, sería tú. Sí. Ajá, estoy preguntando, teacher. Ajá, ¿Qué pregunta, que, sí. Para eso ahí. Pregunta. Uy. Uy, está temblando, qué feo. Está temblando en la unión. Oh, I hate this. Aquí acaba de temblar también. Ay, qué horrible. <laughs> okay. 
Ay, qué feo eso. Odio, odio <risa> eso. Do... Calma, calma, pueblo. Oh, man, I swear Thank to God. Thank you. Do I... Hey, va a nivel la... Are you okay? Do I have... Uh -huh. Do I have the pleasure with tararara, verdad? Mm -hmm. Do I have the pleasure with? Ah, era el do. Ajá. Y ahí estás haciendo la pregunta, ¿verdad? Tengo el gusto okay. con Do I have do I have the pleasure with Mario? Do I have the pleasure with Carla? Do I have the pleasure with Arturo? Do I have the pleasure with Nelly? Right? Okay, Con? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Finished? Finished. <laughs> okay. All right. Vamos con Yesenia and Mauricio. Yesenia and Mauricio. Okay. Good Mauricio. afternoon. Mauricio Torres, great you. Can I tell with Yesenia? Yes, how can I help you? I called you from restaurant Elisote and we want to know if you are so satisfied or not satisfied with our service. For that, I will give you three aspects. I agree. Our service? Sorry, fine. Environment of the restaurant? Salim Fai. Or menu? And Salim Fai. We oui, thank you for your time. On your next visit, you will receive a special discount. Perfect. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no observations. I didn't hear any words. Everything was very good. I didn't hear any observations. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you, Yesenia. Thank you, teacher. Let me have Carla, Beatrice, and Jessie. Nelly, ah, Jesse, Elizabeth. Carla. Wow, you know, when I, when I, came to El Salvador and I started to feel when these little shakes, oh my God, <laughs> I used to be like so scared. Honestly, I hate that. I hate, you know, in Texas, that doesn't happen. But in El Salvador, oh, I, <laughs> I can feel my little heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, ladies. Jesse and Carlita. Okay. Hello, Mr. Jesse. Miss Jesse. My name is Carla Morales. I'm calling from Papa John. How are you? Hi, Carla. I'm fine. Excellent. I'm calling you to know about what do you think of our service at Papayans? Are you satisfied, unsatisfied, or very satisfied? Oh, yes, I am satisfied. Regarding delivery service, are you satisfied, unsatisfied, or very satisfied? I am satisfied. And regarding the quality of uh, our products, are you satisfied, unsatisfied, or very satisfied? I am very satisfied. Okay, perfect. We are pleased to know that you are satisfied with our service. Have a nice day. Thank you for calling me. Bye. Bye. All right, good job. Thank you. Okay, in this case, um, 
no observations, only at the end. Thank you for calling me, right? Thank you for calling, no, no call, calling me. Calling, calling me, uh -huh. ing with the ing of the verb. Thank you, Carla and Jesse. Let me have a Marvin. Who's your partner? Mayra Garcia. Mayra Garcia. Marvin and Mayra Garcia. Mayra? Hello? Okay. This is Marvin. I'm calling you from Claro. May I talk with Mayra Garcia, please? Yes, tell me. I'm calling you because yesterday you had a cable installation and we want to ask you some questions. Yes, tell me how can I help you? We want to know how was the service from the installer. Very good. He was very friendly and efficient. How will you rate the cable signal? Excellent. Our, our channel can be built with that problem. Okay. How will you rate the quality of customer service? He was very satisfied. He was very polite. Thank you for taking our call. We already appreciate that you are part of our clients. Have a good night. Thank you. Good Excellent. Night. Excellent. Good. Good, Marvin. Good, Myra. No observations. No observations. Uh, clear. Everything pronounced correctly. Uh, grammar is correct. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me have eh, quien no ha participado. Myra, did you participate? Yes. Nelly, Nelly, let's go. Nelly, who's your partner, Nelly? Roxana. And Roxana. Nelly and Roxana. Yes. Okay. Ring. Roxana, you have oh. your. Oh. Your so, speaker. So, okay. Hello. Good night, Miss Roxana Valladares. Yes, Miss. Great. You. Nelly Lopez, I tell you about the company Claro. Can you help me with three questions? Yes, they me. Have you had any internet problem? No, at the moment. From one to ten, how good you rate the service? Nine. I will recommend the service. Yes, of course. Thanks for your time, Roxana Valladares. You're welcome. Good night. Okay. Good, night. Good job. <laughs> Excellent work. Only one observation. Hey, when you were asking the question, Recomendarías nuestro servicio o producto? In that case, you say. Ask the question. Would you, would you reco recommend, recommend, would you recommend our products? or services, okay? Would you recommend our products or services? Recomendarías 
nuestros productos o servicios. Everybody repeat. Would you recommend? Would you recommend? Would you recommend? Our products or services. Our products or services. Would you recommend our products or services? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I would like for us to do a brainstorm about the instructions that most of the times you give. Quiero que hagas una lluvia de idea de instrucciones que tú das la mayoría de veces. Did you ever forget about one of them? ¿Alguna vez te olvidaste de una de ellas? So you're going to do this exercise right here. Brainstorm, ¿qué quiere decir brainstorm? Lluvia de ideas. That's right. Very good. Carla, lluvia de ideas is brainstorm about the instructions sobre instrucciones that most of the times you give. Que das la mayor parte de veces. Did you ever forget? about one of them. ¿Alguna vez olvidaste dar una instrucción y te fue mal? All right, you're going to, you will have five minutes, five minutes to work on the brainstorm. Five minutes. Vas a escribir las más instrucciones que tú te acuerdes. Instrucciones que le das a tus clientes, instrucciones que le das a tus compañeros, etc. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and I'm going to go help you. Let's go. Present the present the perform necesitas realizar puede ser present your document for this uh -huh. board semester presente sus documentos personales para el desembolso acciones 
present your personal documents for disbursement. Y si ponemos así, para todos compartir mejor, más fácil, ahí lo vamos a escribir a todos igual. Ya. Así. If you need to perform a cash transaction, you need your ID. Second you one. Need your ID. You need, you need to present your ID. You need to present your ID. Present your ID. Present your ID. Okay, next one. Um, como presentar su uniforme siempre es uh, como sería most mm -hmm. use Siempre tu your, oh, uh, you must use always your uniform. Perfecto. Always present your full uniform. Okay. Um, present yourself properly uniform. Uh, ah? Always present. Present yourself. For work, you need yeah. only present your. For work, you need always present your full name. Okay. Oh, puedes poner ahí este. You, you, como must, must es como algo oh, que yeah. tienes que hacer. For work, you must. Must wear. Es que eso es como, por ejemplo, para el trabajo, yo necesito. Wear your, on it, your uniform. Always. Wear. For what you must wear. Always. Always your uniform. For what you must wear, always. Next one. Uh, uh, you need a uh, you need uh, sencillo que le decía a los clientes usuario Action. para entrar al sistema usuario activo sería active user right? you need uh, active Don't forget. Update user. Don't forget your. Update user for. Uh, access. 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 Okay. Oh, get in. Forget. The, Getting the, access. Access to the platform. <laughs> Okay. Apply. 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 The pronunciation apply. is apply. Okay. Before, before to inside, side, the uh, take. 
Next one. Cyber bank. O para todo tipo de trámite. Para todo trámite. Para todo trámite. Bueno, como ya dicen ID, ¿verdad? Por favor, traer ID. Entonces sería, please bring your ID for all. Ajá. Es que lo que pasa ¿verdad? es que... Uh -huh. Please bring ID for paperboard. All, all processor. ¿All qué? Paperboard. Trámite. Para, entonces le puse a traer sus... Por favor, eh, traer... Eh, el ID para trámite. Yo le he puesto para todo trámite. Ah, para todo. Sí, para todo trámite. Porque en todo trámite se pide el tuyo. Y casi, siempre. Ah, ¿no? pero... Uh -huh. Mire, pero es que como... ¿Ah? Pero es que como aquí le estamos dando una indicación para algo en específico. Como que le estamos hablando al cliente para algo en uh -huh. específico. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué otra indicación le damos? Necesito que venga mañana a firmar. Y que hay un montón de formalizaciones que hay que firmar. Sí. Mañana es último día, si no, ya le va a tocar que comenzar a pagar. Me dicen unos clientes. Mira, hasta que vaya, corran los buses, puede ir, Mira, no puede ser, le digo yo, porque el, el, la, la, el, el contrato tiene que ser firmado antes de que la, la cuenta se descongele, si no va a haber error con la cuota. Ah, pues sí. no, mañana voy a llegar. Sí. Mira, <risa> eh, otra que podría ser para los compañeros, no mantener documentos de clientes en nuestro escritorio. ¿Esa sería una indicación para quién? Para los compañeros. O sea, para general de, pero de, 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 siempre por compañeros de trabajo. Es como que le diga a un compañero, no mantener uh -huh. documentos en el escritorio. Lo que nos van a dar del... Lo que están grabando. Están grabando, ¿verdad? <risa> Pregúnteme, dígame usted las primeras cuatro de los clientes y yo después le digo lo de los compañeros. Vaya, do not forget the payment that okay. receive the visit at your home. Always wear a mask. Do not forget the do it. Do it. Ok. Vaya, le voy a decir yo los para los compañeros. Customer, es decir, to pay for your computer, eh, get distance, apply health, alcohol gel, do not add in the sales apartment, y wear bank, banger. Banger, creo que se pronuncia. Danger. Ban Danger. 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 Thank you, teacher. Danger. Yes. Danger. Danger. Teacher. Yes. Y comida. Y la segunda, esa me corrige. Yo la pronuncio así. Do not eat. Así la, se pronuncia. Do not eat. Eat. Uh -huh. Do not eat. eat. Do okay. not eat. Okay. Eat. 
Eat. Okay. Eat. Thank you. Vale, voy a repetir entonces. Uh, to pay for your computer, uh, get distance, apply alcohol gel, do not eat in the sales apartment, y wear danger. 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 Sí, ¿verdad? Teacher? Yes, danger. Ok. Va usted con... Voy a pronunciarle las primeras, entonces. Uh -huh. Mayra. Ok. Ok. Mm, sería, do not forget payment debt, that, y wear mask, y don't forget your doing, y la última sería. Pero, eh. Eh, traerme su sus documentos, su do y su NIP y un recibito de luz, porque a veces eh, le necesitamos al cliente y no le pedimos, no le pedimos la, no le decimos que te haya la documentación. Yo, yo fui a firmar un crédito y me olvidó tomarle la foto al do y el NIP. Ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo le podríamos poner a eso? Eh, podría ser pedir documentación para eh, la nueva contratación. Así, ID, le podemos poner. Uh -huh. ID. Pe pedir, pedir. Pedir. ID, ajá, porque ID se le dice a la identificación. Ajá. Eh, pedir. Re ahí sería request information. Pedir información. Request information. Pedir información sería. Ajá, pedir información es request. Request. Information. Okay. All right, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Let me listen to you, Mauricio. Okay. Ex express the instructions, please. Remember, your management will for this day if 50 clients with an acceptance of 99%. That's it? Only one? Only one. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Quantas? Oh, una o. Oh, oh. ¿Cuántas tiene? Una cinco. Uh, ok. You need active user for your in access to the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need to perform a cash transaction, you need to present your ID. Two. No, no, ya voy por la four. For what you must por la for Spanglish. Por la for. No, tiene que decir así, mire, ve. I am on four. I am on five. I am on six. Spanglish. Spanglish. Ya voy por la four. Six. To carry out an operation, your ID must be valid. Valid. Very good. Very good. Okay, stop right there. Thank you, Mauricio. Let me have Jesse. Jesse, you have to turn on your speaker. 
Okay. Um, give me your D. Mm -hmm. um, keep the stamps. Mm -hmm. That's it? Sí. Turn off your phone, please. Okay. Thank you. All right, Jesse. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, let me have Elmer Neftali. Don't forget your payday. Uh, pay to the credit, credit capital. Car, carry your payment card. Please use the mask properly. properly. ¿Cómo se dice? Properly, properly. 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 Keep, keep your distance. Uh, companions are not Halloween uh, when it's allowed. Allowed. Al allowed. Allowed. When, when entering the band. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let me see one more. Myra Lisette. Hello. Okay. Yes. Uh, do not forget the payment date. Mm -hmm. Receive the visit at your home. Mm -hmm. always, always wear a mask. Do not forget the doing. Mm -hmm. Turn off the computer. Mm -hmm. Keep your distance. Yes. Up. Apply her iPhone. Apply. Apply her iPhone. Mm -hmm. Do not eat on the sales apartment. Mm -hmm. Always with the danger. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. That's all that we're going to complete in today's class. Your homework is going to be coming from the next section which is going to be referring to this part over here. I want you to practice the pronunciation of the conversation for tomorrow. Practice the pronunciation of this conversation for tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.